Good morning, you guys. I guess it's like noon, but I guess good morning still. So today, I have a little bit of a mission. It's officially summer. I mean, it's middle slash end of June, so obviously it's summer. But I gave away all my shorts to Plato's Closet. Well, basically all of them because they didn't fit anymore. So now I need new pairs of shorts. So that's the goal today. So I'm going to Kensington Market in Toronto, which is like a neighborhood of like vintage stores because I really want like a good pair of like Levi's vintage shorts. So hopefully I can find something good in my size. Um, a lot of the time places don't carry my size because I'm like a 24. So I guess we'll see. But that is the goal today. Also just like to hang out and have fun. So I don't know, enjoy this vlog. Starting off strong with Flamingo Vintage. They have an amazing jeans collection and look at these cool silver tab Levi's I saw. But they had such a wide range of sizes. Anyways, here's the first pair I tried on. These are actually really cute. These were a size 26 though, so they were like a little bit baggy, which I liked. And I love the color of them. They looked like the perfect vintage and they fit pretty well. My only problem is that they were just way, way too high waisted. And here's the second pair. They actually look really similar. These are a size 24 though, so they do fit a little bit better. They're also a bit of a lighter wash, and I liked them the same, but once again, they were just like way too high-waisted. Like, it was very, very 70s high-waisted, and that's just not flattering on my body. But I do love like just the perfect amount of baggy it is like around the butt and the legs, so I don't know. Maybe we'll go there another time try to find less high-waisted ones. And then we headed to Vintage Depot. I personally love this store, but they didn't have very many pairs of jeans. It's mostly jackets, crewnecks, sweaters, t-shirts, so it was not a long trip. And then we went over to Exile Vintage, and I also like this place for t-shirts. They have a lot of really cool brand name t-shirts, and I found these pair of shorts. I actually really like the wash of these ones, and they fit really well, but same issue, just way, way too high-waisted. Um, I know that all these vintage jeans are probably kind of 70s style, and just like the high-waisted then was insane but i kind of wanted something just like a normal amount of high-waisted or even mid-rise so yeah then we headed over to Usado. i don't know if i'm saying that right and i think they're also owned by flamingo so they had a really cool jean section there as well but i didn't really find any that weren't super high-waisted so i didn't try any on and then lost boys vintage I saw these cool pair of jeans. I don't know. I just really thought they were cool. And so I decided to try them on. And the fitting room was really weird. Like, why are there stairs in it? But it was also kind of cool at the same time. There's also a door. I like the jeans and they did kind of fit. But they were just like really baggy in the cross for some reason. Like, I don't know, guys. I don't understand when jeans do that. When it's like you're tight at the waist and then you just have the most giant crotch ever. Like, what? That doesn't even make sense on a normal body. But yeah, and they were just really stiff, so unfortunate. And then I was done. I was over it. I tried things on and it's just not working. So we got food at, I think it's the Burgernator, except I didn't get a burger because I don't like burgers. But it's such a cute little patio. I love eating in Kensington Market. I don't know. It's just a vibe. And they have so many cute little unique restaurants. And then we traveled all the way to Dundas West for Expo Vintage Bins because I was like, you know, I'm not feeling it with my finds. So... After digging, I found these shorts, and I did like them, but they were just a bit too big and baggy in the crotch. Unfortunately, I know, like, it sucks because they usually just, like, take men's jeans and, like, taper them, but it's like, it doesn't work like that. Like, it's not gonna fit my body well if that's what that is, so. And then I found these pair of shorts, and actually looking back, these are a lot cuter than I remember. They were just a little bit too big, but definitely I could have taken them in. But, yeah, I just wasn't, like, feeling it that much, so... But I love the wash and like the length of the legs and the rise because it's like perfect. And then I tried on these jeans and I really like these jeans. They were like the perfect mid rise and they were like just baggy enough that it was like kind of a look. And the wash was really cute. These were Wrangler jeans and it's just like the perfect baggy leg. I just loved it.
And then I tried on this skirt. And I really liked this skirt. Like, I don't know, you guys. It was just speaking to me. Like, it just was. And I did have to roll it up to make it fit. But I think that kind of fit the look. And the length is, like, perfect. It, like, just goes past my knees. So it's not, like, an awkward length. Like, it just, like, kind of works, you know? And it's, like, perfectly straight. Like, it's not very, like, poofy or anything. And it's, like, literally perfect. And then I tried on this Adidas jacket. And I was surprised at how well it fit me. Like, I don't know, guys. This is, like, this place is, like, such a score. Like, I actually love this place so much. Every time I go there, I find some really great shit. So if you're in Toronto, you absolutely need to check this out. And the price is amazing. It's only $17 per pound slash per item if it's a heavy item. And for some good vintage stuff, that's not bad. But, yeah, here's another jacket, a bomber jacket. It was a little bit too oversized for me, though. But I like the colors and the material and just wait till I show you guys the back because I thought the design was really cute. Here's the back. I don't know. I just like the embroidery. I thought it was cute. And then you guys, I found this lovely pair of leather pants. I was literally screaming. I've been looking for a pair of leather pants for so long. So I was so excited to see these and they're by the gap. But yeah. And then obviously I had to get Starbucks because what is being outside all day if not getting Starbucks? I got a passion tea lemonade and my favorite, a cake pop. I love cake pops so much. I get them all the time. But yeah, that was my day. Okay, so I'm finally home. And was it a bitch to get home? So the Taste of Little Italy festival is going on right now on College Street, which was the street that I was going down on the streetcar. Um, so the road was closed and it is a very major street. So there was tons of traffic. It took like an hour and a half to get home through transportation when it usually takes half an hour. So yeah, it was, it was crazy. Anyways, so a little recap of what I actually ended up buying. I did end up buying the skirt. It just spoke to me. It gave me vibes of like that one of the Hadids. I don't remember which one. One of the Hadid. It reminded me of that and I liked it. And I feel like I could style it well. Next. I obviously had to get the leather pants. I don't own a pair of leather pants. I wanted to get the Aritzia Molina ones obviously. But knowing how was I paying $150 for pleather. So these came out to $17. Okay. And... I think they're real leather. It says genuine leather lining. Don't really know what that means, but some of it is genuine leather. So either way, even if it is pleather, it's worth it. And it's like really nice. So yeah. I also obviously had to get the Adidas sweater. Like this is so cool and it fits so well. And it's all around just a good sweater. And it was actually only half a pound. So it was only $8. And yeah, that is everything I bought. Literally during the whole day. Kensington Market was amazing. It just, I just didn't find what I was looking for and I'm broke. So I couldn't like look for stuff that I wasn't looking for. But yeah, I guess that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a fun day today. I had a fun day with you guys. Kind of with you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more thrifting videos, I literally love making them so much. So I will probably be making some so much this summer. So subscribe if you want to see more thrifting videos and I'll see you guys next time.